after I became engaged to my now fiance, I started telling people about my engagement. And this included when I was on the plane on the way out of Cartagena, which is where I proposed. And one of the people that I told was a longtime friend of mine. Uh, she and I had known each other since 2010. So that's a good 13 going on 14 years since she and I knew each other. And before all this happened, it seemed like she was very happy for me. She was excited for me that I was proposing. And so when I finally did it and I got the answer that I wanted, I very excitedly texted her that it finally happened and that she said yes. But the reaction was not what I expected. I guess, according to her, the way that I explained what happened, how it all went down, sounded like I was not so much telling her about how it happened as gloating to her that it happened. And I tried to understand what she meant by that. Like I tried to put myself in her shoes and see it the way that she was seeing it. But to this day, I don't really understand. At some point, clearly I said something wrong, something that upset her. And then I started thinking, you know, Maybe she felt that way because she isn't married and she isn't dating someone. And I don't know, maybe it was jealousy. Or maybe she felt that I was rubbing it in her face that I found my person and she didn't. I never actually said that, but I suppose it's possible that whatever tone I used came off that way. Uh, and so I was like, well, I'm sorry. That's not what I meant to say at all. I never meant to rub it in your face. I didn't mean to gloat. I was just super excited and super happy that I was engaged for the first time. Uh, and then, but all she said was, I'm sure you weren't. I'm sure you were not meaning on saying it that way. And then after this, to my surprise, she said uh, something along the lines of, perhaps it's best if we end our friendship. The vibe is off. And I was even more surprised. Even if I did say something wrong, you know, it's not the first time that I've said something wrong and it probably won't be the last. You know, I was perfectly willing to try to figure out what part I said that was upsetting or how I said it that was upsetting so I could do better next time. But she didn't wait for that to happen. She just said, Actually, she didn't say anything, come to think of it. After I got that response out of her, she said the vibe is off. I tried texting her more, but she stopped responding. And then the next thing I knew, she unfriended me on Facebook. And I just thought to myself, well, she was super upset and didn't even wait for me to try to figure out what I did or said that was wrong or how to fix it. And that's how things have stayed since then. Currently, it's about to be the middle of July, and this all happened at the end of April. So it's been two and a half months, more or less, since this all went down. 
And then, as if that wasn't bad enough, another friend of mine, and actually these two friends of mine knew each other before they knew me, uh, but this other friend of mine, she saw on social media that I became engaged and she didn't go out of her way to say anything in particular about it to me, which I guess is fine. She doesn't have to. Uh, but at one point, she asked me for money help because she was... She asked if I could send her money because she was having problems with her car or something. Uh, and I said, no, I can't because I'm saving my money to send to my fiance because we're working on getting her here and she's going to need money. And I said, I am not, I'm not in a good place for that right now. And she took it the worst possible way. She rage texted me that she was pissed at me and then when we tried to talk it out she told me that she felt very blown off by me and that quote unquote we're supposed to be best friends for life which is true she and I did call each other that but I never considered that being friends with someone meant I was obligated to send her money. Even if she needed it, it's not my responsibility. And in this particular case, I was unable to and I told her why. Now, rather than taking the time to talk it out like adults until we reached some kind of conclusion to resolve our differences, she also decided to distance herself from me. She decided to block me when she realized that I wasn't budging and I wasn't going to send her money. This was not my responsibility and I was not in a good spot to send her any money at the time. And yet, oh, and of course she knew why and yet she became angry with me because I wouldn't rescue her from this. And she blocked me. It seems like she blocked me in multiple places. And she and I also haven't talked in quite a while. Uh, this all happened in, uh, in May. So it's been weeks since she and I talked. I don't think I did anything wrong. What I, I get that she came to me because I regularly helped her whenever she had money problems. But at no point did that mean that those money problems were my responsibility. That was me being nice. And the fact that she blocked me as soon as I told her I couldn't help her this time it feels like she was only friends with me because I helped her with money. And the moment I stopped, I became of no use to her. That's what it feels like. Now, both of these people were my friends for 13 years and we met at the same place and they knew each other before they knew me and before uh, I, we were a trio, but I just, it's, I find it difficult to believe that friendships of that long could be that meaningless to them, that they could just end them like it's nothing. They could just end them willy-nilly, just like that. I tend to consider my friendships to be worth way more than that. They are not things that I could just end on the spot. 
I tell myself that the people that I've been friends with for 18 years and 15 years and 13 years, these people I'm going to continue being friends with when I'm old. Is that just me? Is that just my idea of friendship? 